Hey guys, welcome back. Ninja Llama here once again for a first look at Duskers. This is a roguelike from Misfits Attic. Um, they were kind enough to provide me with a copy, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. It is in early access. It's alpha. You can see a quick overview down here in the bottom right how far along they are. Looks like they're two-thirds done with gameplay and art and audio is about a third of the way done. It um it has a very programmer-esque feel to it. And instead of explaining it first, let's go ahead and just be able to see you know, a little better what it's about. It, uh, the graphics are very intentionally done. Personally, I like it, but this will just be up to, you know, everybody's interpretation. The game is entirely controlled with the keyboard, which is a, you know, a design choice. And actually, I think it goes quite well. Um, I will use the mouse just so I can, like, point stuff, but I can click on all this stuff and it, um, you can actually hover over stuff and it gives you pointers. That's interesting. I wonder if they're going to add more mouse stuff in the future or... But I can't click on anything else. But here we go. We are currently here by the... On the Justice Rider right here. We have two ship upgrade slots available. I think these are our drone capabilities. This is our map. This is where we look around. This is our universe. Uh, there's no data here. I think that lets us jump in between... I think our universe contains these galaxies and we can use our jump fuel here to go in between galaxies and in these galaxies um, there will be all these systems and the system is where actually you do your work and we're going to go ahead we got some objectives down here they give you some just standard stuff to do like you're supposed to completely scan a uh, space station for that or something but let's look at our drone config see what we got our first Three drones. It's all procedurally generated, by the way, so it will change every time you reset, which you inevitably will do multiple times. And um, we got motion, gatherer, generator, tow, and stealth, okay? This is pretty good. Starting with motion is really nice, in my opinion. I always enjoy starting with motion. And we can go ahead and see what that does. Well, we also have S for our ship config, where we'll hopefully be able to find some upgrades for it and then modifications this is where you can go through and you can do stuff with your ship upgrades this is where you can upgrade and repair your different you know little drone modules because they actually every time you use them you'll see this failure probability after we use this it'll have a chance to fail and basically you know not work like we intend it to and so you got to come in here and repair them and here is where you can like repair HP for your drones, increase their speed, which is really nice. Repairs the drone's video signal because, you know, sometimes you can even lose, you know, your video signal. And you'll see what I'm talking about. But we'll just go ahead and hit board to go to the first one we're at. This is where we would customize our bots that we want to take with us and the modules on them. However, you know, we only have our starting three, so we're just go ahead and jump in. See, here is just a little, little randomized text, I believe, that pops up. And uh, we'll just go ahead and jump in. And this right here, you'll see it's very programmer-esque. We've got our console down here, which we'll actually issue commands to in a second. Um, but this is how it's going to look. We have two ways to look at the game. Like this. I'm a, I'm a big fan of this style, but some of you may or may not be. Just have to look at it and tell. But this is where... We can do like a commander type overseer role, or I can hit the number keys that corresponding to my drones there, and I can actually take control of my drones here. We get the mouse off the screen. So, you know, I can cruise them around here. This A1 is an airlock. We're currently in our docking ship. And so I can do this, and to actually make my drones do anything besides, you know, moving around, which I'm doing with the arrow keys, I actually type it in the console. So if I go A1, it will open that airlock and you can see that I can only see what my drones can and this right here this is a generator but if you don't know you go up some hit info there's items found in room 2 power inlet use generator to power and here's an interface we have to have an interface module to go with that and we don't have one oh 
there's an open door, which is kind of scary. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the guy with the generator, Kyle here. We're going to run in here. We're going to go generator, and he's going to power it. Now we're going to switch to this view, and we're going to type D13, and you can see right here that it closed that door. And now I know that if we look up here, our number one drone has motion. So I'm going to type motion into here and hit enter. And this is a little scan. Um, so there's nothing in here, at least nothing moving. And then inconclusive results for R3 and R5. So we don't know anything about them still. But what we can do, a cool feature about this game, is you can run it like this, where you drive your drones around. Or you can issue them commands like this. So let me say, I want to open door 12, then I'll put a semicolon, because you can execute more than one command per line. Then I want to navigate drone 1 to R7, and so it'll open the door and drive him in there. And then we're hoping there's nothing in there. And can I take info for drone 1? Nothing found in here. We'll go ahead and switch to this, just so we can peek around for ourselves. There is nothing in here. But, well, there is an interface up there. If I type info now, will it show an interface? Oh, it will. So he just didn't see it. I wonder if there's like a search command or something. Nope. And if you don't know, you can hit help and you can use your keys to toggle through all of the, um, the stuff here. We're not going to go through the commands. But let's pop back to this. We're going to do another motion here. There's nothing in room 6. We're going to go D2, and I'm going to navigate drone 1 to room 6. And you probably already have a good idea of whether or not you're going to like this game. Okay, we also got this right here. This is a defense, like, turret, basically, that's on the ship. And you can activate these if you have a drone with interface at one of these little command centers. Type motion again. Maybe we can see what's in room 4. Oh, see, there's something. See, look. Herd enemies into room R5. So, strategic option. So, we basically know that, or we don't know anything about this because it's inconclusive. What I can do is open D17. You can see it open here. And now we're just going to wait because the motion sensor will still run. And now that it's gone, I'm going to shut the door. And then we'll open D4 and just cruise in here. We'll just go in here manually. Okay, well, there's something on the floor, and there's some fuel and some scrap. So I'm going to go gather all, and you probably already can tell whether or not you're going to like this or not. But he's going to go do this, and then we got one jump cell, and now he's going to move over here. And this guy has stealth, which once you activate it, it slowly drains to zero, and enemies can't see, I believe. And we can use our arrow keys to move our mouse. And we can also, if we hold control and hit the arrow keys, it'll let us, if you see in my console, you can scroll through, you know, your previous things you've done. There's also something called alias, which pops up this menu, which actually allows you to write basically macros. Like, at the beginning, instead of me opening this up, if you just type begin and hit enter, it will actually set up these things, because I think... Well, at least in everything I've been to already, there's always been a generator here in some point in room 2. So it always just opens the door, navigates drones 1 and 2 in there, and turns the generator on and gets the status of the ship. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. What's going on? Oh, radio radiation flooding. So we're going to run out of here. We're going to shut the door. Okay, so we can't go in there anymore. Because we started taking damage, and pretty soon this will fill up completely. Actually, let's... Can I open D17? And let that enemy go back in there. Let's do motion. Let's see if the enemy will run in there before everything floods. It may not. Oh, okay, so the enemy's now in there. And I'm going to hope that that's the only, <laughs> the only enemy. And I'm going to open D16 and just cruise in here. I should probably have stealth or something on. There's also like little probes and stuff you can use. Oh, here's something. We're going to gather this. There's a turret in here. If we would have had the interface command, we could have just turned the turrets on and it would have just killed everything in the uh, vicinity. I don't know if they, the turrets, oh, radiation is completely flooded, so that's an instant kill if you go in there now. Okay, so D5 looks clear, so we're going to peek in here.
Okay, there's another turret. E20. Okay, see the blue doors? This means they're not powered. So even if I go up here, oh, and they're gray on here. If I type D20, door not powered. So we can't open it. There is a pry module you can get where you can pry open a door, but then you can't close it. In order to do this, you basically have to find a, a different power outlet, a little generator node. So what we're going to do is let's, let's hope there's nothing in room three. <laughs> um, let's, let's just, just run in here. Most of the time, um, just opening doors or running into them is a bad idea. I'm just going to hope that we don't run into an enemy here. The enemies you'll see on your screen are basically just like red squares surrounding stuff. Let's cruise you over here, and let's go motion and see if we can see anything in the room to our left. Our question mark, inconclusive, so we don't know about it. But, just in the interests of seeing what's in here, oh, here's a generator. Oh, crap, there's an enemy. Back up, back up, back up. Close the door. Okay, so, we're going to, we got to do a little bit of fixy stuff here. Let's open door 19. Let's close door 16. Next, let's close door 12, too, just so nobody runs in here. And we're going to wait a little bit. And we are going to hope that the enemy is just going to cruise in here. If I do a motion now that I've been in there, will it search it? No. Okay, and you'll notice 43 of 50. You have to buy more of these. And if you hit the apostrophe key, it will remove all symbols. I don't know why you would. But let's hope. Let's shut D19. Let's peek in D6 now. We're going to do this ourselves. Is the enemy still in here? Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, no. Whew. Okay, so. Let's, let's see if we can't lure him into D14 by putting ourselves in here. Oh, crap. There he comes. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. So, this is basically how the game plays. So, D19, shut it. The game is very methodical has a very well thought out art style in my opinion. I think it does really well what it's trying to do and personally I really like the aesthetic. And now this is not obviously as you probably noticed a real run and gun type game. It's very methodical with just quick bursts of action like we saw and I think there are guns. I haven't gotten one yet. But now move our console if you can't see your console text, you can go control plus minus and it will pop them up. But we are going to, we're going to open D13. We're going to navigate drone 2 to R9. And then we are going to generator. And he's going to drive around. We can watch him. When he leaves, all the power is lost. So make sure you keep that in mind. And then he's going to cruise over here and power up this section, which presumably will will power up something over here and it looks right here like there's a shield I wonder if that's like a down drone but anyway we're gonna run over here and we are going to do a motion inconclusive what's inconclusive R9 we don't care we're in there R3 we don't care R5 we don't care we know there's badness in R5 so R8 and R12 are empty so let's open D9 there are also, this right here, we'll type info, this is a ship upgrade, but unfortunately the little thing is empty. Oh, here's one that's full, and here's the dead drum. So there's a lot of cool stuff to talk about in this room. Let's first type info here, next to this dude. And this guy's name is Nathan. He is destroyed. You can't, like our number three here, Marvin, he has tow. If this guy was just disabled, we could actually tow him back to our ship and use him, you know, like heal him back up and basically use him again. But since he's destroyed, we can't. See, you see the last line here. Cannot use tow and destroy drone only disabled. But we can type swap and we can steal their stuff. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to take your shield. And you can see it was used in three missions and has a 13% failure probability. So I'm going to hit enter. And now we've got a shield on our gatherer guy, which is really cool. And this guy basically can't help us. We're going to type info here. What do we get? This is... Oh, ship upgrade. Empty. What is this? 
No something. Oh, ship surveyor. It's on the second line. The info pulled everything up. Use toad. I don't know what ship surveyor does, but we want it. Just because we don't have anything. So I'm going to navigate drone 3 to R. This is R12, I believe. I'm going to semicolon. I'm going to go tow. Two. I'm going to go tow, and I'm going to navigate back, drone 3, back to R1. And this should make him run over here, pick this up, and then drive back. We'll make sure there's more than one thing he could tow in here, so we're going to sit here and watch to make sure it works. But in the meantime, we can type a motion. Okay, there's something bad in R10. Let's go ahead and shut door 10, just because we don't know what's there. And watch what 3-dude does here. But are you going to try to tow? Oh, he's oh he got it. Look, it's blinking. Drawing back. We switch to 1, and we drive down here. We can actually see him driving off with that. So that's cool. And let's pop back up to our overview. We know something bad's in our 10s. We're going to open up D21. Let's take a quick peek in here. We'll do this manually. Interface. I haven't decided which view I like more. I really like both. Let's see. There's also like random events. Oh, if you hit tab, I just did by accident. Do this. Oh, and now that he's in here. See, he's also got a red vision for some reason. I don't they just all different. We'll type tow, and he'll stop towing. And now, basically, since it's in here, we'll get it when we leave. But let's... Did we do a motion on R11? There's nothing in R11. Okay, so let's pop this up. I haven't decided what view I like more. This manual control or the other one. Um, I do a bit of programming, so both of them appeal to me. And I've, this game is very unique. So we'll pop up here. Oh, crap. We'll do a motion so we can see. We're going to open D22. Now we're just going to wait. I'm going to put D22 back in my console. And I'm just going to wait until it picks it up and close the door. So now, presumably, if there was only one enemy, R10 will be clear. Oh, see this? This is an enemy vent. I believe this spawns enemies, or they just, maybe one pops out and then it's done. I don't really know. But I don't want to stick around here very long. So we're going to go D11, shut that door, and um, I believe that's everything that we want to do. So I told you about the alias commands earlier. And so right here, we have an end alias, which will navigate 1, 2, 3, 4 to R1. And you can put semicolons, do macros. So I'm just going to go ahead and go end. And then everybody's just going to cruise back to this. And then we'll leave and we'll head on to the next the next place. We'll also check out what that ship surveyor does. Um, come on, little buddy. I should get one. You can watch him just cruise. I'm not actually controlling him. He's going through his little automated thing. And once we're in here, you don't have to close airlock one. But I would do we type exit. And it will load the statistics for the mission. We got one J fuel, two scrap, and we survived a day. So that was a very good thing. We did lose a little bit of health um, over in that radiation room. We got shield, and we got an upgrade. So we're going to hit enter, and we need to ship upgrade or config is flashing. So we're going to check it out. Survey ship to determine their structural layout. Ooh, I think this will basically give us the rooms, maybe? That's what it sounds like. So we're going to back up, and these little blue numbers, right here, 4665, all this business, will tell us how much propulsion fuel is required to get there. And once you click this, then it'll tell you how much fuel is required to get there. Where else? And this is an auto trade, which is cool. Five, and we won't have enough to jump here. I would. Actually, what we've already done... Actually, this is just like brings up like a trading menu where you can buy stuff with scrap. And I want to show it to you, but we won't have enough fuel. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go to another another space station. The age is 205 years, I guess. One infestation type. We haven't been there. We also cannot go back. Like if I try to hit board here, nope, can't revisit the ship. So once you've left, you're done. You also can't click this. You have to hit O. Let's see, I'm going to hit Y to jump here. And I'm going to hit T to travel to it. And now we have two propulsion left. Oh, we can make it to the auto train. Okay, so we're going to check that out after we do this, assuming 
we survive. So let's go ahead and hit B to board. We don't have anything else. I wonder if I should switch this guy with stealth. You know, let's do that. Just because I think maybe it would be good if we could just kind of peek in. We're going to try it. This may be a horrible idea. We're going to take stealth off of you. you got to use the arrow keys to do this. We'll give you shield, I guess. And we'll run back up here to Kelly. We'll give you stealth. Okay. Now I'm going to go over here. Hit enter to board the ship. We're also going to try out our new survey thing. Here's another little scan report. Gives you a little bit of a flavor text. Um, okay. Yep, sounds bad. Oh, look, ship surveyor. So now we can just see everything that we have here on the space station. These some open doors. This really unnerves me because there could be enemies just chilling in here, running back and forth. Let's type begin. So it'll just run our two people in there. Oh, there's already something right there. We're going to wait as soon as he powers that. I've already typed D33 to shut it. Because we don't want any nonsense just crawling in on us. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to back out to this. I'm going to go navigate 3 to R11 and then I'm going to say cancel that. I'm going to say tow and then I'm going to navigate 3 oh, to R1 and then tow again. Let's see if he'll do this. I don't even know what this is. Let's type info info on one. Oh. Okay, it was ship upgrade. Oh, it's destroyed? Oh, I guess I should have checked it out. Oh, I have caps lock on. Um, oh, so ship server is destroyed. I wonder if it's destroyed because we already have it or if it just is. But we're going to back up. We're going to run a motion scan. There's nothing actually in, or at least nothing moving. We're just going to open this and cruise in. We haven't seen a lot of scrap. We're going to run down here. We're going to go back and run another motion. R12 is good, but it's not powered. And you can see our little ship here. What we can do is we can type dock and then A8, and it will actually move from this door to this door. And then, I don't know if we want to do that. I mean, we could to start over here. But, hmm. You know, let's try out our stealth thing. This door is not powered, so we can't do anything here. Let's get the mouse off the screen. Oh, I'm stuck. We are going to R7. We'll try to go through 7. So let's, um, let's just open D21. And we'll type stealth. We can get... Oh, hit enter. Type D21. Woohoo! Wow, okay. I thought we were going to be in trouble. So there is an enemy in there. So now... What do we want to do? Oh, here's something cool. See A4? That is an airlock. You hit this, it exposes it to the outside. It killed everything in there. And now we'll close it back and the yellow will go away, I presume. I think if you leave it open long enough radiation gets in there and it does destroy everything in the room when you do that but on the bright note it jettisoned that uh, enemy out into space and see here's the defense that was destroyed if we type info it'll tell us that I believe yeah ship defense destroyed we don't really care about that because we don't really have an interface module okay R16 is good so we're gonna open D23 we're gonna navigate this dude in here Got another interface. Let's type motion again. Inconclusive. Okay. I think we should go into room four. What I'm going to do, I'm going to open, we're going to go do this manually again. Let's get ready. To, let's have stealth auto completed. In case we need to just disappear. There's nothing here. So we'll delete this. Room 16, where is that? Okay, hold on. So D25, D23, you have to shut the doors or it will. I wonder what happens if I open the airlock. Oh, destroy the terminal. Okay, you can't flush out radiation. Didn't expect you could, but. So we can't look at anything. Let's, we're going to peek in this door. 
open D14. We're going to get stealth auto completed. Get ready to hit enter if we need to. Nothing here. Okay, so we're going to back up. We're going to go D13. Oh, just uh, D13 again. There's an enemy in there. And now what we can do is we can go D11. Now we can go A3. I wonder if it will also kill... Oh, there it goes. Room R3 is being supposed to the outside. So now we can go A3. And I think we'll close that. Radiation completely flood, so we can't go through there. Open D13. We'll take a peek. That dude in here is dead. It did not destroy the terminal. Interesting. But it either it killed the enemy or he moved on to the other one. Um, so I guess what we can do now is we can open D27. And we will drive up there and check out that stuff. And actually, we can try out that docking command. We'll go dock A4. And you'll see we'll just cruise around here. And we'll shut in our other generator guy just to be on the safe side. Sometimes doors stop responding so you can't open them or you can't close them. And we'll open A4. I'm really glad we had already docked or I would have just killed my guy, I believe. Let's try motion. Yeah, we can't see. No, let's close A4. I was thinking we were going to leave it open, but if there's something bad in here, we'll get stealth auto completed. Okay, here's a generator. Is there an enemy in here? There's, oh, there's a drone. Can't see to the end. He's blocking the path. And there's a bunch of room left. So hopefully he's not. We're going to type, I guess there's not an enemy in here. We're going to type gather. What's this? Some scrap. Type info. Colin, he's destroyed. So we're going to hit swap. What does he have? Sensor and motion. That's... I've never used sensor. So we got stun, motion. Okay, so this is really good, I believe. So what we need to do, first off, is we need to get our generator guy up here. But we're going to drive Kelly out of the way. And we're going to go to Marvin. Let's open the airlock. Because Marvin doesn't have three things. He has two things. We're going to drive him up here. We are going to swap with Colin. And we are going to take your sensor. I don't know what it does, but I want it. We know what motion does, and I don't know what stun does. But the other guy, the generator dude, can get that. So actually, while we're doing this, we're going to go... We need to go D17 to open a path for him. We need to go navigate 2 to room 10. And then we want to generator. And we'll lose power to everything. You see, we just did... Now we're going to drive Marvin out back in here so he's out of the way. We'll get Kelly ready. I'm going to switch over to you. And actually, before you generate, I'm going to manually take over because I forgot we wanted to do this just so we could get another motion and another stun. I assume that stuns enemies. We try and back you up so I can get past you. May have had to re-do this. Now we got this done. Go to our overview. Let's do a motion. Mo oh, now multiple drones have it. So I need to go motion one, I guess. Okay, room nine is bad. D31 is open. We're going to close it. So every We don't know about room eight, but everything else is good. So we're going to open D29. We're just going to peek in here. What do we got? Nothing. So let's open D12. Wish we had interface so I could show you guys that, but it basically just gives ship scan, which will clear some stuff. And now, this is the bad room, right? Oh, we don't know what's in room 8. We know room 9 is bad. What if I do a motion here? Will it pick it up? Oh. Motion 1. Okay, no, it didn't. But that's the only way we can get past that drone. So, you know what? We're going to try it, because you do have stealth. So, let's... We're going to open D15. Stealth will get it ready. I wonder if he, like, targets... Oh, there's an enemy vent in here, though. I don't like that at all. So what we're going to do, we're going to back this up. We're going to close D15, and we're going to open D31. And we're going to close D31. Because I don't want... We're going to gather. I don't know if you can gather without that. And the enemies kill you really, really quickly. Oh, motion. I forgot we have more than one. Room 12 is good, so we're going to open this. Okay, there's some fuel. 
There's another interface. I'm gonna go over here and go gather. Gathering fuel. While you're doing that, um, there's something in room nine, and we could get in there. Let's just run a motion on one again. I was gonna peek in room thirteen. Something bad in room nine. What we can do, I guess, we can open airlock two. Oh, the door's not powered. I wonder where the power is for this. I don't know. I think we may call it here, though, because it's been 30 minutes. But I will run down what I think of the game. Can I get past this? No. I wish somehow I could. Is there another way around? Oh, yeah, D21, D34. So we'll go end, and that'll make everybody just cruise back. Dude, you can't make it back. I don't have to, have to do it myself. We picked up some cool stuff I haven't seen. And um, I think there's a lot more to be seen. Is A4 where we need to be? Yeah, it is. We'll cruise in here. We'll go A4. Type exit. Nice statistics. We got two P fuel, two, one J fuel, two scrap. And we got motion stun, yada yada. We are going to just cruise over to here just so we can check it out. This is a, oh, pilots needed a bunch of stuff. Okay, this is the auto trade. And you can check through here. They got some fuel. You can buy a propulsion fuel for five and a jump fuel for 15. We only have six scraps, so we can't. There's no ship upgrades. These are just modules. Here's a scanner, which we don't have one of, like this motion. We'll just sell it. I'll just hit enter. See, now we got nine scrap. Crap, I assume you can put that and it will, um, you know, trap an enemy, I would presume. Sonic kind of sounds like a weapon. Toe, we know what that does. Del speed boost one. Ooh. Yeah, if I were to buy something, I'd probably buy, just because I don't know what it is, I would buy scanner and I would buy... I mean, trap seems almost self-explanatory, but it seems so useful. But it may only seem useful because, oh, we have enough to buy both. So we'll buy Sonic and trap. And now we're just going to back out. And let's see if it tells us. Oh, this no, I wanted to go to drone config, not modification. Let's see if it tells us. Scans the current room for items. Oh, that's cool. That would be really good on Kelly here. And Sonic, activate a Sonic pulse that repels organic threats. Oh, okay. We saw a lot of the robots. Um, so I'm imagining it wouldn't work on them, but I've also seen little swarms of like bug-like things. I imagine this would repel those. Drops an explosive trap, and this probably just kills everything. This would be really good. Let's check out what stun does. Drops proximity stun. And drop a sensor. Oh. I wonder if that is like a motion sensor, but permanent in that room, maybe. Well, we'll have to figure that out at a later date. And these are reserve drones. You can only bring four into a place, I believe, and then these swap out. Have different configurations, I think. And um, there is the main menu saves, exit saves, so it will save your progress. <laughs> And you'll notice I'm out of propulsion fuel, and you'll think, oh, well, I can't go anywhere because I don't have enough. Well, if you use a jump to go to a different galaxy, I have it too, it will refill your propulsion fuel. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll just jump to, we'll jump to G for no apparent reason. Hit J to jump. And now I see we have six propulsion. We'll go back to our three system, and we're in a different spot. And this has a lot of, like, the force field looking things or something and you have to have this transporter deal and that basically lets you teleport your drones onto the places so actually there's only two places we can hit here and one's an auto trade but I think that is going to do it for the, the first look here but I one really enjoy this game too it has a very unique art style and quite, quite frankly I think it's well done it you know will appeal to people that are more into the programming side of things maybe just because of the the command line interface that you issue your controls from but 
looks like a, a retro futuristic type view or something but I mean what's not to like about remote controlling drones but I guess I would recommend it. it is like twenty dollars on Steam right now um, you can make of that what you will please leave your feedback down below and um, I'll be streaming this game some more but I hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to like, favorite, subscribe. You know what to do. And I'll see you next time. And we are going to take your sensor. I don't know what it does, but I want it. We know what motion does, and I don't know what stun does. But the other guy, the generator dude, can get that. So actually, while we're doing this, we're going to go... We need to go D17 to open a path for him. We need to go navigate 2 to room 10. And then we want to generator. And we'll lose power to everything you see we just did. Now we're going to drive Marvin out. Back in here. So he's out of the way. We'll get Kelly ready. I'm going to switch over to you. And actually, before you generate, I'm going to manually take over. Because I forgot we wanted to do this. Just so we could get another motion. And another stun. I assume that stuns enemies. We we'll try and back you up so I can get past you. Maybe had to re do this. Now we got this done. Go to our overview. Let's do a motion. Mo oh, now multiple drones have it. So I need to go motion one, I guess. Okay, room nine is bad. D31 is open. We're going to close it. So every we don't know about room eight, but everything else is good. So we're going to open D29. We're just going to peek in here. What do we got? Nothing. So let's open D12. Wish we had interface so I could show you guys that, but it basically just gives ship scan, which will clear some stuff. And now, this is the bad room, right? Oh, we don't know what's in room 8. We know room 9 is bad. What if I do a motion here? Will it pick it up? Oh. Motion 1. Okay, no, it didn't. But that's the only way we can get past that drone. So, you know what? We're going to try it, because you do have stealth. So, let's... We're going to open D15. Stealth will get it ready. I wonder if he like targets. Oh, there's an enemy vent in here though. I don't like that at all. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna back this up. We're gonna close D15 and we're gonna open D31. And we're gonna close D31 because I don't want. We're gonna gather. I don't know if you can gather without that. And the enemies kill you really, really quickly. Oh, motion! I forgot we have more than one. Room 12 is good, so we're going to open this. Okay, there's some fuel. There's another interface. We're going to go over here and go gather. Gathering fuel. While you're doing that, um, there's something in room 9. And we could get in there. Let's just run a motion on 1 again. I was going to peek in room 13 something bad in room 9. What we can do, I guess, we can open airlock 2. Oh, the door's not powered. Well, I wonder where the power is for this. I don't know. I think we may call it here, though, because it's been 30 minutes. But I will run down what I think of the game. Can I get past this? No. I wish somehow I could. Is there another way around? Oh, yeah. D21, D34. We'll go end and that'll make everybody just cruise back. Dude, you can't make it back. Finally, I have to, have to do it myself. We picked up some cool stuff I haven't seen. And um, I think there's a lot more to be seen. Is A4 where we need to be? Yeah, it is. We'll cruise in here. We'll go A4. Type exit. Nice statistics. We got two P fuel, two, one J fuel, two scrap. Okay, we got motion stun, yada yada. We are going to just cruise over to here just so we can check it out. This is a... Oh, pilots needed a bunch of stuff. Okay, this is the auto trade. And you can check through here. They got some fuel. You can buy a propulsion fuel for 5 and a jump fuel for 15. We only have 6 scraps so we can't. There's no ship upgrades. These are just modules. Here's a scanner which we don't have one of. Like this motion, we'll just sell it. I'll just hit enter. See, now we got nine scrap. Crap, I assume you can put that and it will 
um, you know, trap an enemy, I would presume. Sonic kind of sounds like a weapon. Toe, we know what that does. Stealth speed boost one. Ooh. Yeah, if I were to buy something, I'd probably buy, just because I don't know what it is, I would buy scanner, and I would buy... I mean, trap seems almost self-explanatory, but it seems so useful. But it may only seem useful because, oh, we have enough to buy both. So we'll buy Sonic and Trap. And now we're just going to back out. And let's see if it tells us... Oh, this no, I wanted to go to drone config, not modification. Let's see if it tells us... Scans the current room for items. Oh, that's cool. That would be really good on Kelly here. And Sonic. Activate a Sonic Pulse that repels organic threats. Oh, okay. We saw a lot of the robots. Um... So I'm imagining it wouldn't work on them, but I've also seen little swarms of like bug-like things. I imagine this would repel those. Drops an explosive trap, and this probably just kills everything. So this would be really good. Let's check out what stun does. Drops proximity stun. And drop a sensor. Oh. I wonder if that is like a motion sensor but permanent in that room maybe well we'll have to figure that out at a later date and these are reserve drones you can only bring four into a place I believe and then these swap out have different configurations I think and um, there is the main menu saves exit saves so it will save your progress and You'll notice I'm out of propulsion fuel, and you'll think, oh, well, I can't go anywhere because I don't have enough. Well, if you use a jump to go to a different galaxy, or I did too, it will refill your propulsion fuel. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll just jump to, we'll jump to G for no apparent reason. Hit J to jump. And now I see we have six propulsion. We'll go back to our three system, and we're in a different spot. And this has a lot of, like, the force field looking things or something. You have to have this transporter deal, and that basically lets you teleport your drones onto the places. So actually, there's only two places we can hit here, and one's an auto trade. But I think that is going to do it for the, the first look here. But I one really enjoy this game. Two, it has a very unique art style, and quite quite frankly, I think it's well done. It uh will appeal to people that are more into the programming side of things maybe just because of the the command line interface that you issue your controls from but looks like a, a retro futuristic type view or something but I mean what's not to like about remote controlling drones but I guess I would recommend it. It is like $20 on Steam right now um, you can make of that what you will please leave your feedback down below and um, I'll be streaming this game some more, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to like, favorite, subscribe. You know what to do, and I'll see you next time.